Okay, now that you've made your stains, we're going to look at them under the microscope. I am expecting that you're in microbiology and you have the prerequisites and you have used a microscope before. So I am not going to go over the nitty gritty details of how to use a microscope. I am going to focus on using a microscope for microbiology. If it has been a while since you've used a microscope or you've never used one, you will need to pay close attention to the details and make sure that you know what you're doing when you come to class. I'm not going to be able to spend a lot of time with students showing them how to use a microscope. Oil immersion I will help you out with because it's something new to all of us. So make sure that you understand what you need to do with the microscope, how to use it before coming to class. You don't want to spend an hour trying to find a stain. We have limited time and we need to focus on finding these bacteria as quickly as we can. Not saying that you should be so fast that you don't do it right. The other thing is we're going to use oil immersion. And with oil immersion, students get very, very frustrated. And don't be alarmed if you get frustrated and can't do it the first time. You will be required to do it, so just say, don't say I can't do it and I'm looking at my students, my partner's microscope. That's not going to happen. You will be required to use oil immersion. You must use oil immersion for these stains, and you must find the bacteria with the oil immersion lens before you can leave the classroom. Now, as we get started, let's uh, think a little bit back about what we've done. So we've made some stains, and remember that I had you draw circles to where you're going to put your stain, where you're going to put your smear. That was to make sure that when you look under the microscope, you're looking in the right place. When you look at this, you may feel like there's nothing on the slide, looking at it with the naked eye. Remember, bacteria are so small, you may not see your smear with the naked eye. So drawing that circle was so that at least when you put it on the microscope, you have somewhere to shoot for. So when we put it on the microscope, you put it in that clip, you put it over the light source. So if it's not centered, you're going to move it over the light source. One of the other things that I notice right away is this mic the light is really bright. Under the low powers, I'm going to want to turn it down. So I'm going to use the diaphragm lever and I'm going to close it a little bit by moving it to the right to kind of cut down on the light. The other thing that you want to look at is right here is the condenser. Sometimes the condenser is way down here and you will have focusing issues if you don't have it in the right place. So you're going to want to put it to where it's pretty close to the slide, right below it. Okay. Now we are dealing with bacteria that are very, very, very small. So we do not need to worry about the 4x power. We're just going to skip that. We're always going to start with the 10. Okay, you will have to find the organism, find the smear with the 10 power before you go any further. Okay, now to see if your condenser is in the right place, I have a little trick. So what you do is you find your specimen by using the course adjustment knob with the 10 power. So I kind of found it there. Now, to see if your condenser is the right place, take your loop, hold your loop over the light source, Looking through the microscope, try to focus on the loop. It'll be a little bit blurry. So what you can do is you move the condenser until your loop comes into focus. Your specimen will go out of focus. Once that's done, that's exactly the perfect place for your condenser. So if you do that at the beginning of a lab before you do any microscope work, you're um, going to have better focusing. It's a little, little trick that I learned. It takes just a minute. If you skip it, you might have issues with focusing. Okay, so now I'm going to refocus by using my fine adjustment uh, knob on my specimen. So now I found it with the 10 power. Okay, now I'm going to go to the 40. Notice that I do not move the slide. You may go, oh, it's going to hit. It's not going to hit. Okay, if you're in focus, these are par focal microscopes. It's not going to hit. So now that I'm on the 40, I am not going to use the coarse adjustment knob. I can only use the fine adjustment knob. So my kind of rule of thumb is, in most cases, if you focus away from yourself, it will come into focus. If it doesn't, try the other direction. If you feel like you're just focusing, 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 and focusing, take a step back. Go back to the 10, readjust. Some things that can happen is you may not have it centered, okay? Make sure that you're centered right in the middle of the specimen, okay? So now I'm going to go back to the 40. Oh, I see it. It's a little bit blurry, but I see it. So I'm going to focus. Okay, going away didn't work. So I'm going to come forward. So it just depends on the specimen. 
One of the things that can occur is when you're making those slides, it's going to be a little bit cumbersome and you have a lot of different slides that you're working with. What can happen is students get a little bit out of sorts, I guess is the word, and they put their slide on upside down. Okay? You will have focusing issues on the 40 or the 100 if your slide is upside down. So if you can never focus on the 40, go back to the tan, lower the stage, take the slide off and see if it's upside down. Okay? Now I'm focused on the 40. I can now go to the 100. Now I don't go directly to the 100. You must, must use oil immersion. It is not an option. You may say, well, I can see it under the 100, which may be true. You'll see something blurry. Two things will occur. Either it will be the wrong color or it will always be out of focus. You must use the oil immersion to decrease the refraction of light so that you get a clear visible specimen and it is the right color. When we do the gram stain, you are distinguishing between pink and purple. It may be pink without the oil, purple with the oil. The correct answer is purple. So you have to use the oil immersion. To use the oil immersion, I don't want to get any oil on this lens. The only lens that can ever have oil on it is the 100. Let me repeat that. The only lens that can ever have oil on it is the 100. Getting oil on the 40 or the 10 is very, very bad. It will permanently damage the microscope. So I do not want to put the oil on yet, but I do not want to go to the 100. So what I'm going to do is see how I'm turning it to where I have the specimen between the 40 and the 100. Now I'm going to take oil. It may be in a bottle like this. It may be in a bottle like this. Doesn't matter. If I use this, I have like a little medicine dropper thing and you'll let the oil drop off. Okay? If you use this, it's a dropper bottle and you just squeeze a drop off. Doesn't matter which one you use. You put the smallest drop of oil you possibly can. Do not touch the slide with the actual bottle or the dropper. Okay? Only if you let the oil touch the slide, it'll pull it off the dropper. Now that I have the oil on there, now I want to take a step back. Do you notice I did not move the stage? I did not move the slide. If you are focused with the 40, it will work with the 100. Make sure that it is an absolute focus and it is centered on the slide before you put the oil on. It's kind of like the point of no return. So then I clip the 100 into place. So now I see it. It's a little bit blurry. Find focus. So I find focus and it comes right in. Now, once again, if you find that you're focusing the heck out of it, you have an issue. Your slide's upside down, your condenser's in the wrong place. It may be that your microscope is dirty. We deal with those kinds of issues. Now, if you're focusing the heck out of it, do not use the course adjustment to focus, okay? If you're having issues, what should you do? Last time I told you to go back a step. I told you to go from the 40 to the 10. You cannot go from the 100 to the 40 because you will get oil on the 40 lens. We cannot have oil on the 40 lens. If you get to this point and you cannot find it, you must go back to the 10 to focus. Now you're in a situation where you can find it under the 10, but you cannot go to the 40. So you have to go focus go back to the 100. Do not go through the 40 and focus again. This will be a little bit harder. So remember, make sure your specimen is perfectly focused on the 40 before you use oil immersion. If this doesn't work, going back to the 10, you're going to have to start over, which means you lower, put it on a low power, lower the stage, clean the oil off the slide by dabbing it with a chem wipe and then you'll have to start over. You cannot ever go to the 40 if there is oil on your slide. So once again, focus, focus, focus on the 40 before you use the oil. So now you've done all the right things. You have it under the 100. It's good and focused. You can find it. It's really important that you don't give up on this. Okay you need to make sure that you can find the correct specimen. You're going to see a lot of stuff on there. You may see big blobs of stain. One of the rules to keep in mind is bacteria is very, very, very tiny. If you have a cell 
what looks like a cell that's taking over the whole field of view, you are not looking at bacteria. It's a blob of something. Small bacteria. So don't be drawing things that are big blobs. That's the wrong thing. That's what I'll be able to tell from your drawings. You must find the bacteria because everything you do after this will be the same in terms of staining and finding specimens. If you can't find them on the first day, work, work, work at finding them. Because the next day you're not going to be able to find them, the next day you're not going to be able to find them, and you're going to be frustrated through half of the semester. So do not skip this and say, oh, I can't find it under the oil, I'm not going to do it. You must do it, okay? So now I'm done, I found my specimens, I've done my drawing, I'm done with the slide, okay? So what you're going to do, so remember it was way up there on the 100. You're going to go to a lower power, lower the stage, remove your slide. Now, we need to get the oil off of the 100 lens. To get the oil off the 100 lens, you use lens paper. Don't use any other kind of paper. Don't use a paper towel. Don't use a chem wipe. It must be lens paper. And I do not want you to rub it off, and I, do, I want you to be very gentle, okay? So you just take the paper and you dab and dab and you go to a dry spot and you keep dabbing until no oil comes off. Do you see how I'm just gently dabbing? I'm not pushing really hard and I'm not rubbing. I don't know if you can notice, but there's where the oil started and as I dabbed, it got less and less and less. So if you dab and nothing comes off, that means you're done. Don't use a liquid to clean it off or anything. <clears throat> Now you're done looking at your specimen. Make sure that um, you keep your slides for just a minute. Talk to your lab partners before you throw them out because you don't want, you know, if their stain didn't want to work, they can use yours, okay? So keep them for a minute. Talk to your lab partners before you, especially if you have a really good one, you want to share it with the class. Okay, now that I'm done, <clears throat> I want to put my microscope away correctly. So now I'm going to take it, always turn it to where the lowest power is facing down. You're going to turn off your microscope, lower the stage completely. You're going to center the little arm, and you're done. So now you unplug it, wrap the cord around the back. I don't need to do for you. You're going to put the cover on it. And remember when you take it back to the microscope cabinet, you carry with both hands. One hand will be holding the arm. The other hand will be underneath the base. Keep in mind the base gets really hot because of the light. So when you put your hand under there, just it's going to be hot, but you still have to hold the microscope, okay? When you put it into cab in the cabinet, the lens side goes in first. The, um, whatever this thing is called, the cord will be facing you. Always put it back in the spot with the number that is the same number as the number on your microscope. 